Uh, hey guys, had a had something happen earlier today. I was driving my truck. I figured I'd make a quick video just in case it happens to somebody else. Yeah, uh, got the '98 Jeep Cherokee. Um, went to work today, put it in park, shut it off, came back out, couldn't get it out of park, no matter how I was jamming the lever. And I don't have the same, you know, factory shift knob. I'll put this one in here to where you can just, you know, really, where you jam on it and whatnot. But it wouldn't, wouldn't come out apart. I hit it really hard, forced it out, drove it home. And uh, I think, um, was it Bleepin' Jeep has a video on uh, the Cherokee Forum. Whenever this happens... A good thing to check first is if you go up under your dash and uh, mm -hmm. right here, this thing connected right here, got this, unplug this from this. Yours may be here or further back. I mean, it depends on what Jeep you think. I think the uh, 80 somethings had a recall for this. And they had to put it in there because the trucks weren't, they were popping out of park or something. But, uh, yeah, unplug that and, uh, get back in. And you're, you'll be able to get it out of park easily. That is a transmission something. I forget what it is, but you have to press the brake to get it, get your truck out of park. And this is what does that. But, uh. Also, if it goes bad, it won't let you get out of park. Also being said, once you do that, it's a temporary fix. you got to order one of those. Um, prices vary. It depends on who you get them from. They're under 100 bucks. But with your truck, without the key in it, the truck will be in park and you can't get it out of park. But let's see here. Climb in here. Yeah, you won't be able to get it out of park. Um, with the key in and it turned to the on position or cranked, you don't have to press the brake anymore because that's unplugged and you'll be able to shift it out of there. So be careful with, um, you know, if you do do this. I mean, if you can't, like I know the Jeeps have the little you know the cross knob and it may be hard to force that whereas this one it's got this where you can just sit there and smack it real hard you know and it'll force it out but if not do that and then drive it home order one of these parts and uh you can either put it in or you can leave it like this like i'm the only one that drives this truck so it doesn't matter to me about it being like that, I mean, I'm not going to sit with it on and knock it out of, you know, park or whatnot. Well, just thought I'd make a quick video on that real fast. Just in case anybody else comes across this problem.